Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about modifying your data in Excel from a Dataverse. So that's one of the more powerful, but also rather hidden features. So I really want to point that one out. You go to a table. Here I have a table. And then here under the edit, you have edit data in Excel. So it's not visible straight away. But what happens is you open this up and it will open up Excel. There's the Excel file there, and I'm just gonna open that Excel file in Excel, of course, and I'm gonna, yeah, got it, that, and then they're just gonna enable editing. Uh, one of the downsides of this is that you do get all the columns, no matter if they're, they're the ones that you created or not, but we can hide those to work with it later. But of course, you do need to uh, add this add in here, and that's why I accept that. That only happens the first time you do this, and then you need to sign in. So this establishes the connection between Microsoft Excel and your connection, your Dataverse uh, tables. So here you go, there's my tables now. So as you see, you have all the information that you might not be interested in, but of course you can just hide that information to work with it. And uh, so let's just hide all the unimportant stuff here, all the way over there. So there you see the same data that you would actually see in the view. But of course, yeah, it's good to have all the data there. But now the, all of these are done, so I'm just gonna modify those and do uh, false, like that. And of course, all the usual fill functions are there, so I'm just gonna go to Control D to modify all of that. And then I'm just gonna publish that data. And this works very well on even very large data sets. And uh, I can really recommend that. And then you're done. You just publish and it's updated, so yep. Let's go back to Power Apps and we can see that uh, in this view here, it's actually not showing the done. So let's go ahead and modify this view also. And done, uh, description and name. Those are the ones we wanna see there. So I'll save that, move that one over to the left. So now if I refresh this, go into the tables again here, then you see that the change that I made in Excel is actually updated there, of course. So you do need to uh, refresh, but this one is really powerful and hidden, and it's only available inside the development environment. It's not available in the app that you create in the model-driven app or the canvas, but this one is really powerful to get data in and out of Dataverse. So I wanted to point that one out, but that's it. That's how easy it is. You just go into a table and edit the data in Excel, enable the add-on, and then just make your modifications and then publish. That's it. And this goes for uh, updates and it goes for additions and it goes for deletes also. Let me add a new row here in this table. Oops, whatever. So that's of course another row. So now if I publish this, it gets updated with the status, which I'm not actually using, so I can hide that one also, but anyhow. Now, as you see here, if I refresh this page again, it works just fine. So, updates, additions, deletions, everything that you would want to wish for is in that Excel app. And if you're used to working in SharePoint, this is one of the major benefits of using Dataverse instead of SharePoint because Excel round tripping is one of the missing features that has been requested in SharePoint for the 20 years that I've been working with the platform. But if you work in Dataverse, then you already have that. So that's one of the benefits. Well, thank you for watching this demonstration.